<laughs> no, yeah, for that, you veto. Yeah, I know y'all for that UV of 6D. There's about six suns, three binary systems, so like three or four signs, right? The other one with the sun. Let's get it. Well, really, it's three, then it's four alternates of that three, right? Four alternates being your elements. The three alternates is being the three alternates of that element, like air, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, water, I think Pisces, Cancer, um, Scorpio. <clears throat> and dealing with a cycle that represents above and below, right? it represents a binary system that comes together and boom so these everything they be doing still works in threes because you gotta remember where they got it from anyways to even reverse it with us so when they reverse stuff they still keep it to the basics to a certain extent because it was like supposedly a total eclipse but I don't really believe that for some reason like at all even the star alignments weren't really the same outside like it usually is so that being said there's some shit going on on the right side of the green witch line which is why the empires were taken, supposedly. Because the only thing that deals with a manipulated energy is Mu and Nu. So, that being said, that's the moon. Alright, so, during these days, they be... A lot of these days be actually like a lot of holidays, so, but I don't know, bro, like the 19th, I know the energy was going to turn up, because that's just one of the dates anyway, but I gave three dates, I said April, I think 7th, April 19th, and April the 27th. And then in between that, I threw in the 13th. But the thing is, bro, the thing is, bro, they be doing these rituals, bro. So I want to talk about this one. Pascal Triton. Look, most of the time I do this, I don't even... <laughs> I don't be uh it's just something to look into and I'd rather just do it like this so I won't forget for me. So that being said I don't give a fuck about this video being like too like Yeah and content purposes sorry for the language it's just the way I talk that's the disclaimer for you so now that we're starting high school trium so hold on when is Easter bro so, I think Easter, yeah, Easter passed. But why does it feel like they're doing this now? 
And I got this download before Easter, but it didn't really feel like they were doing that thing. I mean, unless they were trying to harness some energy, but it just seems like they're doing it now. So I'm going to just go with that. Cause that seems like some reverse shit too. So... Which three days make up the tritium? Holy Thursday. On the morning of a holy Thursday, we gather in the East Nave for lit- liturgy of the hours or morning praise. Good Friday. On the morning, Good Friday, we know immediately the change has taken place from the evening before. So, (laughs) tomorrow, Friday, we know immediately a change is taking place from this evening before. Third day being Holy Saturday, Saturnalia, right? I've been right about the UV, but. I was just saying, hopefully, it's not like a tight little shift in between that people not ready for right then and there. But if my little theory is right, I don't think that eclipse happened or the energy of the total eclipse, I don't think it touched here yet. But I know it's here. Just because of the clear skies and the type of heat that's penetrating the air and the body, the the planet. And that light extends further below would send signals of awakening. So like, you know how most of us is trying to, or think they're trying to go up. A lot of things from below gonna come up. Some of us might go down. Shit's getting weird, bro. But dealing with energies and rituals that deals with portals. So, like, <sighs> try. I feel like I've already seen this in science. It up real quick. Tri meaning, which is dealing with the tri soldier system coming together, and when it's dealing with the six, that's dealing with pretty much half of the process, really two thirds of the process, and what's two thirds of sixty six? So. Six point six or some shit. Or three. Point so <laughs> some more shit, but look. Try meaning meaning three having three. Okay. In names of compounds containing three atoms or groups of specific specified kind. Try Yep. All right. So, try chlorothane is a volatile non tornadoes on the ground. See the energies here. 
They trying to make it seem like it's everything's just calm. When everything's calm, bro, dealing with NASA, bro. And then this is what you have to remember. The energy is rising, bro, and it's not going to stop rising. So if you see something about NASA and they making it seem like it's chilling off, nigga, it's not chilling, bro. It's rising. Like, so you have to realize each level that it takes to go around the 360, it has to hit the four coordinates, right? Because on a cross or X, you're going to have four coordinates, right? But around the 360, there's different degrees that the light reflects and hit. So that deals with the sacred numbers, right? Just like 77 on one side, then you know it's going to hit 144 on the next side. Like some shit like that. So boom. <clears throat> So, your sacred numbers and degrees, those are the sunspots. So, but the four is for like north, west, east, south. Also for the four states and also for the four elements. It's like one week, so one type of hurt. Next, next week, another type of hurt. Third week, another type of hurt. Fourth week, another type of hurt. And then it settles. You feel me? So then it seems like it's resting. But really, it's about to rebirth a whole new energy. <clears throat> That's what I mean. You ever hear me saying 5D settling or 6D settling? That's what I mean. Because 6 and, and the 7 is settling. It's just the thing about the 7 settling. It opens the gates above. And if that happens, so above, so below. So if the seventh gate opens, then the third gate opens. You feel me? Dealing with below. Right? With pretty much five, six, seven. It's really going to end up with four, five, six, seven. Like, I mean... Four, five, six. You know, like shooting dice, the CeeLo. It's going to be four, five, six type shit. Seven above, three below. And on our plane, four, five, six. But the six is. You have to activate that energy to even go into that, pretty much. Which is your carpet. <laughs> so, look. Alright, so. What the hell is this? Trichloroethane. Okay, it's a volatile, non flammable, colorless liquid with low toxic low toxicity using for cleaning electrical apparatus and as a solvent <laughs> the formula is carbon hydrogen three pretty much yeah carbon chlorine three awesome so that gets charged with. Alright. What is try? Alright. So I've been used for decreasing metal parts during the manufacture of a variety of products that can be found in consumer products, including some wood finishes, paint removers, and stain removers. TCE can also be used in the manufacture of other chemicals. Carcinogen, the agency for research on cancer classified trichloroethane to humans. All right. All 
All right. In the 1940s, the U.S. military began using trichloroethylene. <laughs> We're just going to say TCE. The U.S. military began using TCE for vapor decreasing tanks and aircraft parts. TCE is a powerful cleaning solvent that proved to be a valuable national security resource for the Air Force. Hmm. Prolonged and repeated exposure of tri or TCE causes kidney cancer. Some evidence suggests that it may be associated with an increased risk of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and possibly liver cancer. The United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA, 1977, banned these uses of TCE because of its toxicity. It's used in cosmetic and drug products, was also the discontinued 1993. Hmm, sounds like we're going somewhere. TCE is used in many consumer products. Examples include typewriter correction fluid, paint removers, paint strippers, adhesive spot remover, cleaning fluids for rugs, and metal cleaners. Right. TCE is a toxic chemical that can harm multiple organs and include can and induce cancer. It is known to affect the liver, kidney, and immune system. It can also harm fetal, fetal development and so is risk during pre pregnancy. TCE can be found in typewriter corrections, fluids, spot removers, carpet cleaning fluids, metal cleaners, and varnishes. TCE does not easily break down or degrade in soils and groundwater. Therefore, TCE contamination can stay in the environment for a long time. Yeah. All right. So TCE. All right. So TCE, also known as that, is a human-made chemical. Human-made. Hold up, Brandon. Let me. Look, y'all seeing too much now. Look, it is a human-made chemical. <laughs> this is a human made chemical that's harmful alright so how is this even relevant you feel me it's relevant because oh baby why is this still there um straight we got that solar power look let's get it all right so it, it is a human-made chemical meaning that 
a group of humans, uh, a group of mankind made this chemical. It is, <laughs> it is volatile, meaning readily evaporated evaporates at room temperature into air where you can sometimes smell it you can sometimes smell it why do y'all have so many different words for this shit y'all be doing that's just so many different ways to see like tce is a human made chemical it is volatile, meaning it's red, it readily evaporates at room temperature into air. And you can sometimes smell it. So, you know, when the air is kind of a little itchy, and it has that little smell, and it smells like old boxes or something. Because, you know, a lot of the boxes got like. Uh, allergens, which involves epoxy dust, and the epoxy dust is really what it's tying to. I just need to see how, because I think that's where it's going. Ooh. Is linked to the Parkinson disease. Oh wow! These all right. So a chemical found in dry cleaning paint and many household cleaners may drive steep rise into Parkinson's. Mm. That's crazy. It's like the more you keep going down, it's just. In June 2018, EPA abandoned the proposed bans altogether and decided to fold those high-risk users into new risk evaluations of TCE, a move that is delaying actions for years with no assurance those dangerous uses will be banned in the end. Scientists are calling for a ban on TCE, a common and widely used chemical that is increasingly linked to multiple health problems, including cancer and Parkinson's disease. And this was released March 17, 2023. There is no antidote for TCE poison. Treatment consists of removing the patient from the exposure and supporting respiratory and cardi cardiovascular function. and supporting respiratory and cardiovascular functions. Oh boy. There is no antidote for TCE poison. Treatment consists of removing the patient from the exposure and supporting respiratory and cardiovascular functions. TCE poison that has no antidote. Hmm. What is the root of exposure to trichloroethylene? Inhalation and in, inhaling of airborne TCE is the major route of exposure for the general population. The main health effect of concern with TCE are cancer and effects on the liver and CNS. Hmm. 
What are the trade names of TCE, which is Westraw? Treatment options are available to remove TCE from well water. The most commonly used option is granular activated carbon filtration, which really ties to um what's that John call activated charcoal? Cause what activated charcoal actually soaks up that whatever it is and pretty much filter it from the red blood cells in my eyes. So look, it's just, if you're not eating, what you need to on top of that, it doesn't really flush it out as it's supposed to where it could cause a buildup of that bullshit still. So use properly. Um, Pro-soft vapor degreasing solvent. It's a formulation developed as direct drop-in replacement for the progressive supranuclear palsy. This condition mimics Parkin Parkinson's disease most closely early in its progression. Dang, what is that? Later unique symptoms develop, including eye movement limitations and troubling swallowing, speaking, thinking, and sleeping. Calcium channel blocking drug use to treat high blood pressure, abnormal heart rhythm, ag agina, Pectoris, panic attacks, manic depression, and migraines may occasionally cause drug induced Parkinism. The most well documented are that surgeon <laughs> and flunorese sibling. Sturgeon deals with the um the Death Star and the um the, the sturgeon moon deals with the Death Star in my eyes. And it's also part of I think the Hopi teachings with the Sturgeon Moon and me just knowing Death Star. A lot of that shit means stuff in science. And I found it, but I can't find my tabs. It kind of pissed me off trying to talk about it the other day. Because it was just like wasting time in my video. But now that you know, I'll just be hopping on here. <laughs> be with the fans. <laughs> but yeah. We're actually linking something, though. Now that I'm seeing Okay, what minerals causes Parkinson's disease? Manganese and other metals. See, your body produces manganese, but when it's too much manganese, then it starts eliminating the magnesium type shit, right? So the iron atom is trying to actually go back to the magnesium atom, the green atom, which is the black, the black atom. It's really green, right? It's just a dark green, a very dark green. Kind of looks like, um, kind of looks like chlorophyll, right? Just dark. So, manganese and other metals such, <clears throat> there's a suggestion that exposure to various metals can be related to the development of Parkinson's disease. High doses manganese exposure linked to certain occupations such as welding, 
is known to cause forms of Parkinsonism called mechanism. So, all of this, what you have seen, right? This is on Google. So, don't be trying to delete my videos, bro. Because this is all y'all do. Like, y'all even took a view off. Like, how do you take a view off? I, I can't get 27 mixed up with 26, bro. I can't. <laughs> look. Because, um, let me see where it says, all right. The military for vapor decreasing tanks and aircraft parts. Okay. TCE use and jets. Oh. TCE is a colorless liquid that used that's has ugh, is a colorless liquid that has been used to remove gunk from jet engines, strip paint and removal stains from shirts, drop off on dry mail. Because I don't know what else you want. ECE and chemtrails. What? From aircraft. You see how those are made though, right? It spreads like, like say a line is like that, the thickness of the chemtrail, and then it spreads out. For me. So, epoxy dust in clouds. Once a person gets allergic to carrying agents, even the clouds of dust from sanding can trigger an asthma attack. Okay, boom. Epoxy resin does in the inhaling. Inhaling. Inhalation. Inhalation. <laughs> <laughs>
Look, it's for a 20 man. I'm just smoking, smoking. But it's, look, it's just this light bright as hell. I can already see. I just got it all up. Anyways, breathing highly concentrated Xboxy vapor can irritate the respiratory system and cause sensi- sensitization. At a room temperature, epoxy vapors are unlikely to be highly concentrated. However, if you're already sensitized to epoxy exposure to low concentrations of epoxy vapors can trigger an allergic reaction. Shop does from Particularly, carried epoxy can cause respiratory problems, inhale, and dermatitis if allowed to settle on your skin. Dust from fully cured epoxy is chemically inert and considered nuances dust from a health hazard standpoint. When epoxy fumes are inhaled, they can affect the nose, throat, and lungs. Most symptoms from the the inhaling of epoxy involves inflammation and therefore irritation of the nose, throat, and lungs. Repetitive and high amounts of exposure to these fumes can cause Sensitization and asthma. Where dust, mist, mask, or respir- respirator when sanding epoxy, especially partic- partial, partially cured epoxy. Breathing partially cured epoxy does increase your risk of sensitization to what, son? Because what is it dealing with your cells, right? And this epoxy dust gets trapped in your mucus lining. And if it gets trapped in your mucus lining, then it starts to make an allergic reaction respiratory system because it transports those proteins that is whatever is developing, like, like how it says is linked to cancer cells. Like, it could duplicate itself while it's trapped in your mucus, right? So, really, to get rid of those problems, you have to keep your rivers flowing because if you want to clean rivers, then you have to have clean circulation of that river. And the thing about rivers the more flow it gets, the more charge it gets. Just like if you want a natural energy and it was connected to a windmill, you'll have to have a flow of air and a flow of water for that electricity to flow. It's a reflection of the cycle that works inside of you and the cycle that works outside. Because if that works outside, then that means it's going to work inside of you. How do you think anyone even came up with that idea for me because it goes hand in hand under the sun for me the thing is they don't need you in the fucking lab or the hospital being on the x-rays unless they're trying to experiment on you they can't do that with millions of people all at one time I mean that's their goal but they can't do that. So it's like, it's going with a Unix time as they get out, get some out the way. But like, to attack the masses and do the same thing, you have to spread to the masses through the air, the water, and the body. You know I mean? Because it's dealing with fire. And you go right there with your fire. And what you connected to. 
Because most of this shit deals with heat. It becomes... It reacts to heat. It actually reacts to heat and light. Right? So they... Then they want to show only conspiracies about chemtrails. But calcium... Carbonate... Graphene oxide... Even though graphene oxide is made with the same atoms as our organs, tissues, and cells, its dimensional nature causes unique interactions with blood proteins and biological membranes and can lead to severe effects like thrombogenicity and immune cell activation. The graphene oxide can stay in the human body up to 24 hours, sometimes even a bit more than that. Thicker ghost sheet will be harder to remove, or thicker calcium sheet will be harder to remove whereas thinner sheets can be excreted via urine. urine. Calcium carbonate is called limestone. You could turn that to gold. Hmm. Calcium carbonate is called limestone, and when it's heated sufficiently, it turns into calcium oxide, which is called quick lime. Hmm. Never heard of that before. Quick lime, a white caustic alkaline substance consisting of calcium oxide which is obtained by heating limestone and which combine with water with the products of much heat lime Quicklime is interesting substance. It is popularly, it is popular for mythical abilities to remove identities from remains and destroy the bones. That, but it also has history of being used to remove miyamas and was a part of ritual process such as the Iron Age burial. Hmm. Which deals with Sarkov. It deals with Sarkov so. Because, really, this is fucking illegal, y'all. All right. They try to talk about history like they was never doing this the whole time. They're just doing this right now. Like, the shadow government is the Nazis.
It's the Jews. It's the uh, the Russians. That's why the Russians of Putin is actually over control of the crypto, because that ties back down to the cryptos of the time. And what were they doing? The thirty Moors, cryptos, and the Arabs. What were they doing? They were trading slaves, trading bonds and estates, giving money to each other and shit to do their plans, right? But excuse this for a second, right? Can I go back? Damn. How did we get there, bro? Y'all saw that, though. I need a quick one. It's a white crystalline crystalline oxide used in the production of calcium hydroxide. Synonyms burnt lime, calcium lime, calcium oxide, calcium fluxing lime, lime, unslate lime, etc. Boom. Oh, let's not get a topic. Where that don't go? Oh, yeah, how's it used to a corpse? All right, so quicklime does to a corpse. Quicklime is an interesting substance. It is popular for mythology, mythological ability to remove entities from the remains and destroy bones. But it also has a history of being used to remove miyamas, Oh, it's part of a ritual such as the Iron Age burials. So, now that we know it was tied to limestone, Sarkov too, the standing for Sarko. And the V2 standing for uh, the charge of the atom. Dealing with 6D energy because 6D energy, like I said, is 2000 hertz. And the 2 in that represents megahertz. So 2 megahertz is actually 2000 hertz. Same thing. So look. Sarco is a combining form used like a prefix meaning flesh, often used in medicine, which is drugs, and biology, which is study of life and nature, and especially pathology, which deals with pathological blood destruction and the shit they were saying with this corpse or whatever. Zulu. Because all three of those sides were metaphysics, so... To manipulate a metahuman, you have to reverse their metaphysical connections. It's like if a light bulb was forever on, how that could never turn off. How would you turn it off? So, I mean, you can't break the light. You have to reverse some wires, but how would you do that? You have to reverse the cycle. Pretty much. So it don't seem like it's them doing it to you. Just let you destroy yourself. And when there's a mass of people that are not operating their real rights or just unknown to what's going on tied to distractions, then it makes it just seem like it's you doing it and not them. The whole time, you be their ass. It's fucked up. 
of his game. Sarcoma. Okay, so sarco is really a prefix word. So when they use this word, they use it as a prefix to something else, right? So sarco was used. Okay, sarcoma. And various malignant tumors composed of neoplastic cells resembling embryonic connective tissues. Neoplastic cells resembling embryonic connective tissues. Pretty much they told you how it was AI inside of whatever. A malignant tumor originating from the mesodermal tissue such as fat, muscle, or bone. Compared to carcinoma, right? And when carcinoma was tied to the TCE. And that's only one syllable out that whole word. And I can't even remember that word. Oh, yeah, the whole ritual. <laughs> All right, because the energy that they're calling on ties down to all of this shit. So... Any various malignant tumors composed of neoplastic cells resembling embryonic connective tissues. A malignant tumor originating from a mesodermal tissue such as fat, muscle, or bones compared carcinoma is sarcolactic acid, which is an isomeric form of lactic acid produced by muscle tissue during anaerobic. Anaerobic metabolism of glucose. As the sarcolactic acid liberated in the muscle is not oxygenated, meaning it's not getting no blood to it, a condition of acidosis is issued, meaning a lot of acid get built up in that area instead of blood, right? So when a lot of acid is stuck somewhere where the blood's not getting to because it's closing the sodium channels, the sodium channels deal with your blood, plasma, and melanin, right? That's what the drug does, the fucking drug. You don't need no drugs. And then... You're so used to going to sleep. It's good to have energy because then you use your energy to go do something. Now you go to sleep. Like, you don't get the energy to waste because then you're going to feel twitchy. You feel me? Like, you got to do something. It gives you energy to burn more out, right? Because that's how your body reacts. Like, it tries to give you warnings and signals to do before it happens. But as a defense, it begins to sweat and all types of shit. But the sarcoma acid is built from lab-made foods and meats, right? And a lot of sugars. That's not natural. The only real sugars you're going to get is from your fruits and your vegetables. Because then that produces the sugar your cell needs. So when the cell is reproducing itself, it's actually reducing its own sugar, which becomes food, which you can get through photosynthesis. You feel me? When photosynthesis is trying to help that cell reproduce, but all your body has is lactic acid, then from... Your three sodium channels is going to react with your blood, your plasma, and from there, it's going to show through your skin, right? Which boils, monkeypox, all types of looking shit, right? Because it's a reacting, is is a re is a reacting of something not natural in your body, especially because just look at a plant. If it got interrupted, then a fung and it usually don't grow funguses, then something interrupted its growth. 
So then it built the fungus. Because that's what it does. But really, that fruit by itself will decay and then go back to the ground and then do something else. But that's what happens. So... I don't even sound right. Okay, so sarco is a sarcophagus, stand coffin, especially burying sculptures and inscriptions of displayed of monuments in ancient Egypt, Greece, and Rome. Not to be confused with the related word sacrophagus, Greek word meaning flesh consuming. But what does sarco mean by itself? It means flesh. Okay, what well, Greeks believed that there was a kind of stone thought to consume the flesh of its corpse. So it was used for coffins, which ties down to the limestone. <clears throat> Sarcomere, another word used in Sark, is that you heard Sarcomere, the first part for a part of a certain muscle. Now, see, now you have Sarco and now you have Mears. But Mears was a mutation from the Sarkov, apparently. But SARS Cove, SARS was just a word of Sarko. They just made SARS into a plural word and separated it with a hyphen. But say if you were writing on a line, right? Hyphens put the words together. Like say if you was running out of the out of line on the paper to go to the next line, you have to put a hyphen at the end of that word to continue what it was. So that mutation is just a continuance of what that was. So look another term using sarco, you may have heard of sarcomere for a part of a certain muscle. Now we know the meaning of sarco means flesh. The second on mirror means part of. So sarcomere means part of flesh. So it becomes part of the flesh. And what's part of the flesh? The blood, the skin, and the plasma. The three in your sodium channels. The one with like your veins and shit. Alright, so. Sarco was used in something called Sarco Suchis, the name of the extinct crocodile. At 30 feet and nearly 10,000 pounds, the, the super carp that lives 100 million years ago in Africa and South America, survival involved for the giant reptile popularly called Sarko. And Sarko means flesh. Sutures is used to form genius names of extinct reptiles resembling crocodiles in form. In Latin, ancient Greek, it represents the god Sobek, which is something they worship.
so shit gets weird, bro. But the calcium carbonate and graphene oxygen. That's the formula for the clouds. You feel me? It's the freaking formula for the clouds. And then it all ties back down to something called CBID. The amino deficiency. Right? So when it says something about the TCE, what does that tie back down to? What caused it, right? And the common variable amino deficiency is pretty much what they were saying. Okay, so I don't know what that is. All right. 